what's kind of the next play for you as far as like the creativity aspect? Because obviously you're gonna have people from all sorts of companies and stuff, you know, that want your video. How do you narrow down who you want to work with? Is it a pricing thing or is it a, a passion thing? All right. Well, I mean that's also another question that <laughs> yeah, because again, as a you know, as a creator and in the industry, we always we always want our passion to shine. Right. Um, but then we also have bills to pay. Right. So I think you definitely have to find a niche between the two mm. because I've seen people, you know, even myself, I'll pick up work because I'm just like, oh, I need an extra hundred bucks, but then I don't give it my hundred percent because I'm not for it. It's kind of like not my thing, mm. but the client reached out to me, so I needed the business. Right, right, right. Um, I definitely feel that's not the route that we have to go. Right. So like now working directly with um, with this truck, what we're trying to do is bring diversity to tech, mm. whether it's uh, coding, videography, um, any type of technology that's working now. So basically our passion is to help those communities which A, aren't getting the right um, attention or media coverage that are needed. Interesting. And yeah, so pretty much. So what exactly, how exactly do you go about doing that? So let's say there's a company um, that needs you guys. What What is it, what are the, requirements for that company in order for you guys to be a good match so vibe that first thing vibe. is vibe yeah definitely meeting first with the client if i think you want to work with this product <laughs> get a good vibe have yeah a good vibe. <laughs> yeah because they definitely have to be um uh, i wouldn't say like our style is not too much corporate okay um but there are corporate people that handle the you know the social media aspect and the video content right, right. and if we can vibe good with them okay. <laughs> then you know, it can flow, but the most important thing is what kind of message is the company giving? If the company is just trying to That's a sell great, a product and a great just, time. you know, be, oh, this is us and this is what you need and we're the best just because we are, mm. that kind of is not the stuff we go for. Right, right, right. You know? Right, which is important because I feel like um, one of my business partners, um, Abe Sharkis, he, he told me um, that if you don't align with the, with the values of the brand that you're trying to work with, then down the road, it's gonna actually cause a lot of friction for you mm -hmm. because it, it's kind of like a stress thing over money. Yeah, you know, like it, it's gonna just cause you to stress out about the about what you're doing. Every little project, every little um, edit, every little phone call. It's just like you have to weigh that over the over the value of what you're getting paid from the client. Yeah. So I mean, that that's perfect. That's a perfect environment for you guys. Um, 